Good morning, Guardians. Happy Friday. Snowy Night Owl back. We got another Zer video. Zer is in the tower in the hangar, as you can see. And let's see what he's got this week. For exotics, we have the colony. Kind of fun in PvP. And uh, these all got a buff this season, so that might be worth picking up. For hunters, you got the Gwizin Vest. So if you like Spectral Blades, that's, uh, I guess, good. Insurmountable Skull Fort for the Titans. Um... This is potentially a pretty strong healing exotic for Ark, which doesn't have a lot of intrinsic healing. So if you don't have one, pick it up. It's a pretty good roll too. Lots of resilience and a bit of strength. Um, not bad. I'm going to grab one. Uh, and Dire Ahamkara for Nova Bomb kills if you are a warlock that likes throwing Nova Bombs at things. For weapons, we've got a Chrysura Mello with fourth times and Dragonfly. That is beautiful. Hello. On a 360 RPM. Ooh, with a range master work and everything? Okay, that's a definite pickup from me. Gion 7 rifle with a full auto trigger system and outlaw. Um, there are better, um, particularly in the 390 archetype, especially the new one from Gambit. So probably a skip from me. Uh, farewell, kinetic lightweight, moving target multi-kill clip. This would be a pretty good PvP sidearm if you like lightweight sidearms in PvP. Um, Chambered Compensator and Tac Mag, both relatively strong, good handling roll. Cool looking sidearm, might be worth picking up. Uh, blinding Grenades, Underdog Multi-Kill on Empty Vessel, if for some strange reason you don't already have one of these because they drop like crazy from Vanguard stuff. Um, blinding Nades are pretty handy, <clears throat> nice for dealing with Majors in more difficult content like Grandmasters, so maybe worth picking up. Uh, first in, last out with Auto-Loading Eye of the Storm. On a pinpoint. What do we got? Small bore is pretty good. Light mag is good. Tack mag is good. This is, I, it, it's not a god roll by any stretch. I'm a big fan of auto loading on shotguns. So this is one that I'm going to be picking up once I obviously make more space. Temptation suck. Kind of a weird sword. Probably not worth getting. Zen moment demolitionist on gnawing hunger. Again, not really necessary. Um, righteous visuals for the armor this week. And that's pretty much it. Um, let's see, what do we got for Hawkmoon? Eye of the Storm, Hawkmoon, and an Outlaw DMT. With Arrowhead, High Caliber Rounds. Hmm. This may be worth picking up, honestly. Um, I still prefer fourth times, but with the changes they've made to Outlaw and, and its focus on precision hits, uh, or not Outlaw, the changes they made to DMT. And it's focused on precision hits um, and precision kills. This is definitely not not the worst thing you could spend your exotic cipher on, especially if you don't have a DMT yet. So worth considering. Uh, that's it for me for today. You guys have a fantastic uh, weekend, and we'll see you on Tuesday. Bye-bye.